Hey guys, I'm here to do a reading for the month of September 2020. I hope that life is treating you well. We have absolutely been going through uh, big, big, big changes this year. So you can also watch my 2020 yearly reading if you want to reflect back on some things that were said and maybe see how that resonates with you. I would also recommend watching my weeklies, watching my moon uh, readings under my moon cycles and uh, some of my other uh, talks underneath uh, my playlist and you might find that some information is helpful for you in between your sessions that you have with me or perhaps you're just interested in in getting some tips okay I'm on Instagram and Facebook and I do lots of stuff over there as well so uh, let's work with our cards I already um, pre-pulled these out because I, I tried to do the video a couple minutes ago. So, Angel of Innocence, the Fool, okay? So, whenever we see the Fool, this is a brand new beginning, okay? Um, the other thing is it's linked to the energy of zero, which is very much about our spirit. So, where are you changing? Where are you growing? How are you evolving as well? So, what aspect of yourself could you get rid of and what area of your life could you absolutely start focusing more on? And that's going to be really important for September. We have Angel of Innocence, so it's actually a, a great energy to start our September off with. Uh, obviously, we're going to be trickling into fall, which is a um, change of season as well, so it makes sense that we're starting a fresh energy, which I love fall. Nine of Cups is also telling us, it says blessing. So this is saying that there are some people that have been watching, which is great. I appreciate that. Um, and I appreciate everyone who shares this with family and friends if you think it could benefit others. Uh, but what's happening is there are some people that have been working more with crystals and things that are really helping their energy. So a big thing is just keep enjoying the good things in life because it feels like you've worked a lot on your values and you're learning to appreciate things more than you've ever appreciated it. And that's the good stuff that's been coming from this virus that that has affected the entire world is there are uh, positive things that have come from the issues and so if you're able to continue to really uh, enjoy the beauty of life this is going to be really helpful for you in the month of September too. So great energy thank God because we so need it. Queen of Pentacles Comfort, and I pull these cards out according to who will be watching as well, so it doesn't matter um, who watches this, it's still going to resonate you, re resonate with you, but I do personal readings as well, so you can check out my info below. Um, okay, so when we have feminine energy, this is telling us it's so, so important that we're really valuing... Um, not just what we have, but how we're feeling, honoring our commitments to ourselves. So it feels like people also have been learning a little bit more about the self and how we can focus a bit more on our on our own actions. And that's a beautiful thing as well. So keep that in mind that if you aren't, uh, you know, taking care of your health right now, that it's a, it is a time to start recognizing the significance of that because I feel like most people understand health but they, there's something that's blocking them from actually taking care of themselves and often it's because we have a lot of um, other things in our lives going on and so this is telling us to just really sit and contemplate some energy this month within yourself because I think that you can learn how to shift your vibration, which is a beautiful thing. I'm also September 20th doing a new moon um, retreat in Nova Scotia. If you live around there, want to travel, it's from 10 to 3. And uh, you can check out that info on Facebook and um, my website. Five of Wands, Tess, okay. So this is saying that um, 
keeping our energy levels up is exceptionally important. So raising the vibration of other people will also be really helpful because if you are able to give more than you can take in September, it's going to be uh, reciprocated as well. So it's really about um, bringing yourself back into that happy place because when we give, it raises our vibration. So if you're feeling like you're you're feeling like there's a lot of push and pull energy, like the energy could take you down, just give a little bit of yourself and see how that, that shifts your vibration as well, okay? So again, month a month for contemplation, absolutely. A strong month for connection to other people and lots of blessings coming in and it's it's absolutely important to, to sit and write some things out if you're able to, okay? Especially even when you're watching this video. All right. I love you all. Take care. Bye for now.